Good afternoon. Welcome. It's Anna here. And we are continuing with this grungy journal today. Uh, as you can see, I have actually done a little bit to the cover. I have reinforced the head and foot because last time we put in the fabric inside out. And that's really good. And that will help uh, make this spine a bit stronger for a long time coming and it's nice and floppy just as i like it but the ends were not tip top and i wanted to make sure that they don't fray so i put these tiny doilies here i cut it in half and put one part top and one part bottom then i also go went a little bit ahead and i put some little labels there that's everything I have done. Then uh, to the cover anyway. Then I have uh, gone through the text block roughly and I have pulled out some papers that I want to include in the journal. And let's see what I have. I have also pulled out some other papers and I thought today we could start putting the signatures together. How about that? I think I am going to have seven signatures. The spine is quite nice and wide. And um, I believe we measured it to two and a half centimeters last time. No, it's three. How about that? Then we might be able to put in 11 signatures, or nine at least. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> here's the papers I pulled out. Let's put this to the side. Like so. And uh, I have, let's start with these ones. I pulled out seven so far, uh, folios from the original text block. This is the original first page, the index here, and it says publishing date 1893. Love the foxing on that page, so that is one. And I think I'm going to put some um, little page markers here. I'm just gonna find them. I think I had them here. There they are. So that I know. I'm sorry for the banging, everybody. Uh, yeah, let's put some headers, uh, some paper flags things. This will be signature one. This will be signature two. And this is the page that was the fly leaves I believe yeah anyway like the foxing like the the insign insignia there here is piece the folio with some nice photos really like that one love the coloring in this book it's amazing so I believe this will be a signature three Aha, I got double. So let's make number four here as well. You just see that we are in frame. Yes, we are in frame. Um, this is, uh, I love those endings of the, of the chapters. Really, really pretty. And the starting of the chapters are also really nice love that and as i said last time this is a book about the family of bernadot that uh, this is the family that are ruling or the royal family in sweden now that's a wedding picture and uh, some other images Number six here. 
I believe we are going to have at least nine signatures. I love that. That's uh, Crown Princess Victoria. The first. And here's some nice. There's, this is the last pages, I believe, of the book. So we are going to make that number seven, and then we need two more. Let me see. I pulled one out. To, one maybe wanted to use as a as a forward book. But I'm going to use that as number eight. Then we need one more. Let's see what we have. I don't want any war. I don't want any bad things. That is a pretty one. Let's take that. That will be number nine. Like that. So we have the start of our nine signatures. And these will need to be reinforced. We will see if we have time for that on camera today, because I have a few more things. I have more things I want to add to the journal and I have some more things I want to show you. So let's continue. Hmm. Lovely copy here in my Moomin mug. So I want some tea dyed pages in different sizes and those are only seven so I will have to pick out some more. Um, I don't know what this is but I tea dyed it <laughs> and it has a strange shape, strange size. But let's see if we can fit that into a signature here. Have to cut the piece off and I want to make a little this into a flip because I love flips like that and then we are going to cut the piece off once again sorry for the noises This one has been warped in when I tea dyed it or coffee dyed it, I believe. Yeah. Then we have just basic pages, and I think I want to have some that is not full size, actually. I am going to put that outside. I usually do every other um, folio uh, with tea dye paper first in the signature, every other folio with book page from the original text block. Um, that's how I do it. That's my kind of formula, if you know what I mean. That's something I start out with often and then I change during the process. Then we have some full size and these have been tea dyed so I'm just going to measure how I'm going to cut or fold these. So I'm gonna get a little pencil if I can find it. There it is. And I am going to cut that and then I'm going to fold that, I think. This is my small Tim Holtz guillotine cutter from Tonic Studios. I quite like it. It's um, quite new to me, but I have grown to like it a lot. It's small and easy to use. And let's do a flip here, like that. I'm gonna get my bone folder, I thought. Where have I put, there it is. 
sometimes I cannot see what is right in front of my eyes. If you know the feeling. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like that. And I want to put that outside, I think. Yes. Then we have number five. And I want to cut off a bit. I love the grunginess here. Isn't this cool? I love how that turned out when I tea dyed it. Or coffee dyed it, most likely. Really nice. And I really like to keep that. If I can. As much of it as possible. So I think I'm going to... Hmm... Yeah, I want to cut it off like this, I think. If you hear any banging noises, it is my husband who is working on the garage. We are still not finished with that one, but he is um, in the end process of it. Will these? Yes, they will be flips. Who am I kidding? I love my flips. And I extend them with all kind of fun things. And do like that. Perfect. And let me see what have. this one is cool. This is an old envelope. That I just opened up and tea dyed. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I want to use it like this. Or if I want to do something else with it. Maybe a bit of Franken page. Maybe, maybe. Let me see how big it is. It's definitely on the smaller side. But who cares? Let's use it. After all, this is a grungy junk journal. So let's grunge it up. Since this is about the royal family, the history of the royal family, you could think that it will be full of laces and frill and pretty ladies and stuff. But I am in the mood for a really grungy journal. And that cover with all the ink spill just called out for me so much so um yeah that will have to be seven so the pretty journals will have to wait because i am not in the mood We have had a wonderful, wonderful sunny summer day today. It's only the beginning of May, but it has been summer. So lovely, warm and nice and sunny. So I have been out in my garden today. That is not something I do every day. <laughs> I'm not a gardener, but today I couldn't resist actually. So I have been out and um, weeding my... Uh, one of my my um, rows. What was it called? Um, hmm. Garden beds, kind of thing with roses in it. I don't know what this is. It might be some old, you know, kind of um, uh, folios you have. Um, Keep stuff in. <laughs> you put the, the papers in and then you wrap, the, wrap them in this. 
it's a bit stiffer than normal paper, but it's not cardstock. So I think that it could be cool to to um, use in the journal. Size. You can just do a flip of this one then. Oh, I want it the other way. Like that. Perfect. And the last one. The last coffee died for this. And then we have nine signatures with both coffee dyed paper and each out of the original text block. And that is something that I almost always have in my journals. But on the other hand, the rest of the papers are totally random. So that is not something you could guess, I'm guessing. Um, I have pulled out a few like ledger papers and stuff that that's mostly because it's good to to keep us journaling space let me see yes that is a good start and this will of course be in the paper press so that it will be nice and flat so, what do I have? I have some uh, lined paper, I have some grid paper, and this is one of those double side, it's twice as big. This is some random greyish paper that I received, in, it was wrapped around something that I bought, thrifting I believe. This is also an envelope that I have cut pieces. I have, as I said, some ledgers, some more ledger, and even more ledger. And I think we should start with that. And then we can work our way through this. Um, yeah, I believe this is so big that I can just fold it and then cut off the bottom. I love that there is numbers on this one. I'm just gonna line it up and fold. And we'll see how much space we have. Yeah, I can cut this off because then I can do something else with this. That is good. I'm just gonna have to make a little mark here and then I can cut it and this will be used somewhere maybe in this journal maybe in someone else in some else some other journal oh dear my head is a bit tired I think after all the sunshine and fresh air. And this is a whole folio. So this will be... Also, I'm guessing I want to do flips. So I want to cut it off at about that height. And then I can do flips. With these ones. Ooh, it won't fit. It's too big. It won't fit in the, in the guillotine. <coughs> yes, it did. <laughs> like that. And then we can guess that I want the clips to be somewhere about. I could have just done a template. <laughs> I just realized. But uh, why make it easy, right? 
like that. And then we can use, let me see. Let's use this one next. And oh, that was perfect. Yes, and this one maybe. And let's do the lined paper. Where well, that is. there is, I'm just gonna fold it because then you can turn your journal and journal the other way around. And I think that is fun, but I do that myself sometimes. It's nice to have different um, size of papers and different kind of papers in your journal. I really enjoy that. Let's have some grid paper in this one. And we can chop it off about there maybe, yeah. And let's see if we want to do flips or if we want to do something else. Okay, yes. I think I want to cut this one off because they're quite thin, uh, lightweight papers. So I will, don't want to put something on to extend because then it will bend I'm guessing maybe it will ah oh. that's an interesting problem <laughs> the guillotine carrot is too small so we're gonna bring this one out real quick and just line it up like so and voila go nice and let's have some ledger here and this one is not folded it's a single um, but it will be a thin page I'm designing a slim page and I want to do the same as I did earlier then I'm just gonna cut it off and then keep it a smaller one there Now I'm going to run and get one more something, uh, I think. Let me just think. Or oh, maybe we could do... Is that too small? Yes, it is too small. Hmm. All right. I have this. It's a small ledger. So let's take this one. I believe I have... Yes, no numbers, no fancy anything, but still nice paper. So let's put that in there, and that is the perfect size. I just love when that happens, don't you? So now we have time for the fun papers. So let me show you. I think we don't we, we don't have time for too much. Let me see, I have pulled out, this is, is an envelope that I tea dyed, coffee dyed, and it became very grungy and it also broke in the coffee dyeing process. But I think I am going to do something out of this uh, for this journal. So this will go in somehow, not as a folio though. Uh, I have some Edith Holden, and this one I have actually... Uh, torn down a bit because this will be a huge um, not journaling card but notepad we will do that together then I have a bunch of papers 
so let's just uh, see what we have uh, we have a 1834 uh, this is actually a um, geography book from 1834 how about that let's put it in the center i'm just going to put everything in the center right now so that uh, i can move it around later this is a book, German book from 1919 with inorganic chemistry. Very interesting. Lovely drawings in that one. This is a 1893 and it is a Swedish book and it is some kind of religious text, I think. Not a Bible, but something else. This is from 1804, lovely rag, rag paper. Some ink spilling up here that I absolutely adore. You can feel the text being pushed into the paper. And it's a travel uh, story from a travel to London. This is Swedish. Here we have a 1742 book about Swedish law. Absolutely amazing. 1742, that is almost 300 years old. That is so cool. That is red paper. So that is going in. We have this. This is 1814. Um, I have to fix that. Uh, Swedish French dictionary. How about that? And you have some of the binding still there. Absolutely love it. And this is a huge book. So I am going to get that in there and that will be folded. I will not tear that off. I will not in any way uh, cut it off either. I want it to be intact because it's an amazing book. But I want it to be a part of this as well. Almost too, big, too big actually. Here we have a 1840 book. Yes, 1840. Uh, it's a lot of place in here. And this in French. So that will go in. And then I will have to find two more folios of these really old ones. So let me just pause you real quick and then I will be back with them. I'm back. So I found two little books, teeny tiny, if you compare to that one. This is from a 1835 book about uh, diseases. It's a doctor's uh, old book. And here we have a small uh, German book from 1838. It is a fiction book. It's from Sir Walter Scott called Let's Kloster. And that is going in the last one. So we have successfully put in four pages in each signature uh, for now. And that will go into the book press. Of course, it's called a book press uh, overnight. And we will see how flat they are now when they get out in the morning. But we can just do a little quick thing here and tuck them in and see, just get a feel for it. Oh, I love that. And as you can see, it is quite, they are quite, um, they're not so flat right now. But they will be once they have been in the press, especially with the tea dyed papers. So coffee dyed papers are quite, Mm. not flat <laughs> so uh, yeah like that then I wanted to sh have a um, little discussion with you uh, about the front uh, I made a little poll over at my Instagram and got a few answers so the question was do I want to keep it as it is do I want to put one of these options on there? So option number one was this, which was actually my option number two. 
But I, I started out with this one. This image, and then I backed it with some uh, tissue that was in an envelope, and then I backed it with another um, piece of Tim Holtz um, backdrop. But I think it's too big myself. I am not sure. I love her colors against the blue, but I don't know. Then I pulled out this one because I kind of wanted something round. And that, that called out to me quite a lot. That is one of the Madonna and the Child uh, <clears throat> ones that are so were so popular. And I kind of like that one a lot. Uh, and I think I even put a little note here. Madonna de la Sedia. It was painted about 1512 to 1514 by Raphael. Yeah, uh, uh, so there is Mary and the child, uh, Jesus, baby Jesus, and there's an angel over there. Kind of like it. Especially when I grunged up the, the frame. And I used my uh, Sissix, my big shot doing this. Um, getting, trying to get used to using it. So that was one option. That is number two. And then, <laughs> Then, of course, I had to go through all my photos. My daughter picked this one out. Of course, with some backing or something. Uh, it's a photo of men working in an office. Hope you can see. Maybe I should hold it up for you. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not, the color's great. The image, not so much. Uh, then we have this little family. And I thought I could cut off the white. This is just a postcard, so no biggie to cut it apart. Um, maybe with some cool background or something. Uh, she wanted something in that direction, not this. So that's one option. Then we found this one. Also getting rid of some of the white down here. Maybe put a little... Uh, what's it called? Label holder and metal down here or something. Maybe. Oh, here comes the thunder. <laughs> those ladies are too yellow. No, don't think about those. But those, I love that. That this is also a postcard, but I just love it. All the ladies in their cute hats. So that is also an option with some some kind of backing. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what to do, actually. I'm not sure at all. I am leaning towards this one, but then it came, comes, I don't know. Let me know what you think, please. Uh, one, two, three, something else. <laughs> or leave it, leave it as, as it is. I would really appreciate your opinion here. Anyway, that is it for today. I have heard you for over half an hour today. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I think I want to go in and reinforce these pages with some washi tape. I don't have to do that on camera. You have seen me do it before. If you haven't subscribed already, I would be very happy if you did. Uh, it really helps my channel grow and I am pl planning a big giveaway. Making a giveaway journal and use. Uh, as a raffle uh, yeah and if you have please any comments about this or anything else in the book leave them down below or just say hi i will say hi back yeah i think that's it have a great rest of your week everybody bye